Hello and welcome, welcome to another guide. So today I'll be showing you guys how to dock a module. For this example I'll be using the airlock. So as you can see here I have the airlock and on top right here I have the flashing panel. And this is pretty much the same for any module you find. Any and every module will have a flashing panel. Might not be in the same location but the same basic concept to be the flashing panel and each one needs to have RCS injector. If you find a module in space for around something like derelicts, odds are you need to put in an RCS injector. Otherwise it will not move. So let's jump right on in on how to dock these modules. So as you can see here, I pulled the computer by pressing F on this little panel. It opens up. Let me get in here. Press F to interact. So now I'm inside a docking panel. As you can see, I have my module on my left side, my, avail my available docking ports. On the right side I have my modules in range and my targeted module. On the bottom left I have my fuel level and on top right I have my little radar. It basically tells you where I'm at or where you're at. So as you can see I'm currently looking out of the air airlock docking port A. In order for me to switch this I need to press R. There we are. It's now switched and already our automatically has standard docking port B selected from the outpost. The reason for this being is because there's already a crew, crew quarters module docked to the outpost. If it was not docked, I'll have two ports to choose from, which should be the same thing, same way to choose, almost, except that you have to use arrow keys. So not really the same. I should have not said that. Yeah, anyways, so, anyway, what you have to do is use the arrow keys to go down and select which one you want, like the module you want. Then you use the left and right keys to um, to change which port you want to dock to. So now let's start here. So when you when you be moving the module, be aware that if when you press W, it will only do a little bit or any key. W, A, S, D, any of those keys, it does just a little bit. If you just press it, it's not that much. Now you hold it down and it starts increasing in the power and the fuel, fuel usage. But do keep in mind, this is in space, basically. So in order for you, when you go one direction, you need to apply the same amount of force the opposite direction to bring yourself to a stop. So now I'm going to go W. As you can see, I'm moving forward. And I'm going to go left. As you see, my line is going left. Okay, so how do I stop that? It's simple. I have to go right to get that line to be zeroed out. So now it's zeroed out. In a second, here. there we are. Pretty much zeroed out now. Now, while I'm go not going forward, there is no red line. That is your direction. The little green bar at the very bottom. The distance is, of course, how far away from from it you are. So now, when I turn, you see a line was green there for a split second. That's telling me that I am too far um, rotate to the left. I need to rotate more to the right to even be able to dock. So I'm rotating to the right rotating to the right and rotate a little bit more there we are so basically you want to line up this hexagon with the other hexagon I'll make sure it like fits in like puzzle pieces so now let's go over here oh cool sun just came up awesome so now the speed which you're at can be any anywhere within I think a meter or second let's see here yeah, about a meter a second is good. It will automatically latch you in. If you're any faster than that, you will be uh, bounced off. So let's come over here. Let's line it up. Now, if you're within a certain range, it will automatically dock you as well. So they come in here and dock it. There we are. We are now docked. Now, undocking is as simple as pulling a lever. But that could be, that'll be included in another video. So this is how you dock a module. Um, now with airlock modules, I forgot to mention this earlier. With the airlock module, you can only dock it to an airlock or a ship, another airlock module or another ship. So if you want to create like a double space, I can say to say, with um with the lock locking on it, then you can use double airlocks. And if you're going to dock a ship, you have to dock to the airlock. If you actually want to get in and out of the ship without going to space, going into space. Now. One tip I will offer with the airlock is that when you do dock it, even though it might say, oh yeah, you're perfect, you're good to go, you're not. You want to make sure that the, you can read the airlock 
panel. It has to be readable. If it's upside down, then you are not at the right angle. You need to flip around, do um, keep turning, keep rotating it until you can read the panel right side up. So that is how you dock a module. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to um, ask them in the comment section below. Don't forget, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And maybe in the next guy, I'll be doing how to warp and a little tips and tricks for that as well. So I've seen people have issues. So stay tuned for that. And meanwhile, have a good day or night and see you in my next guide.